Welcome into the 2020 Saints schedule breakdown presented by SeatGeek. I'm Caroline Gonzalez, joined by my co-host John DeShazer. We'll be breaking down all of the primetime and key matchup games for the Saints this year. You can find the complete schedule on NewOrleansaints.com. And of course, don't forget to tune in to the NFL Network's show at 7 p.m. where they will be breaking down all of the games in a three-hour show. So tune in to NFL Network at 7 p.m. Okay, we're going to go ahead and dive into things. Let's take a look at the primetime games for the Saints this year. As you can see on your screen right now, Saints have four primetime games this year. Let's start things off with the Saints at the Las Vegas Raiders, J.D. Yeah, Monday night game, and the Saints usually flourish on Monday nights and obviously have to be a little bit excited about playing on the road at Las Vegas. Uh, get a chance to play in a new venue. And that's always exciting for players. You know, you get tired of playing in the same places all the time. Saints have beaten the Oakland Raiders. They've beaten the Los Angeles Raiders. So here's an opportunity to beat the Las Vegas Raiders on the road. JD, Sunday Night Football action, Drew Brees versus Aaron Rodgers on September 27th. Well, we're talking about two elite teams in the NFC. The Packers advanced to the NFC Championship game last year. Obviously, that's further than the Saints went, but we're talking about two of the better teams in the league, a good measuring stick game for the Saints in case they have to see this team later in the season. Another Monday night football game, JD, Saints versus Los Angeles Chargers on October 12th. A little bit different Chargers team this year. Yeah, there's no Phillip Rivers at quarterback, probably going to be uh, Tyrod Taylor, although they did draft Justin Herbert. So we'll see exactly what happens at that quarterback situation. But a totally different team when you're talking about Phillip Rivers, who's been there more than a decade running the quarterback position for that team. And then this primetime matchup, Sunday night football, it'll be the second time the Saints see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on November 8th. That I'm excited for that one. I think that one is the one I'm circling on my calendar, J.D. Well, Drew Brees and Tom Brady go on the marquee in that game, and they would go on that marquee uh, regardless of who uh, was, was were the teams involved because we're talking about the two most productive quarterbacks in NFL history, number one and two in passing yards, number one and two in passing touchdowns, Drew Brees being number one and Tom Brady being number two, and of course, the six-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady. So a marquee matchup by any standard. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Saints' key home matchup going into this season at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. First up, we have the Saints versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, I might backtrack a little bit. This one might be the one I'm most looking forward to because it's home game, Tom Brady versus Drew Brees, J.D. Yeah, a lot of excitement, you know, and not just Tom Brady. Uh, Tampa Bay also added Rob, Rob Gronkowski, and they already have Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. And so they have a formidable team that will be coming to the Superdome to play the Saints in again, an early, early game. And I know it's going to be, you know, a lot of hype around it and it won't be a Super Bowl. And yet it's obviously a game you want to win, not just because it's in a divisional opponent, but again, because it's a team you might have to face down the road when you're talking about the playoffs. All right, forget which game I'm circling on my calendar. Emmanuel Sanders might be circling this one. Saints versus San Francisco 49ers at home on November 15th. Well, Emmanuel Sanders got nothing but love for the 49ers. They came in and won last year, so he's got no problem with that. The Saints have a problem with that, and that's still a really good team in San Francisco. They've got that stable of running backs that gave a lot of problems to teams last year. They've got Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. He played extremely well against the Saints in the Super Bowl in the Superdome last year. So that's not necessarily a revenge game, but the Saints obviously a game they want to win. JD, another exciting matchup for the Saints at home. They welcome in the reigning Super Bowl champions, Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, we've talked about measuring stick games well. Who better than the Super Bowl champs and the guy who was the Super Bowl MVP? who was also a regular season MVP a couple of years ago, Patrick Mahomes, who has weapons like Tyreek Hill. That is an extremely exciting game. Everybody's going to want to see it. And the Saints probably won't say it, but that's really one they want to get in the bag. 
And this last one, they probably want to get in the bag too, J.D. I almost don't even want to give them the benefit of saying their name, but Saints versus Minnesota Vikings, Christmas Day. There have only been 19 Christmas Day games in NFL history, but the Saints take on the Vikings on Christmas Day at 3.30. Yeah, players probably won't say it and coaches probably won't say it, but I'm sick of seeing these dudes. Um, we've seen them, it seems, uh, it seems like we've seen them every year for the last three, four years, and all of them have been big games. And, oh, by the way, this will be a short week game because they'll play Kansas City just five days ahead of that. So an extremely difficult short week period for the Saints. And yet you don't feel like there will be any letdown because of the value of playing against the Vikings, the team that has eliminated them in the playoffs a couple of years out of the last three. So that's going to be a really, really tough game for the Saints, even though it's going to be a home game. But this is a team they don't like particularly and probably a little bit sick of seeing it's almost like a divisional opponent a divisional opponent because they've seen them so often excited for this season jd excited to finally see you and to be surrounded by saints fans uh and of course excited for this season all right that'll do it for our 2020 saints schedule breakdown presented by seek geek you can view the whole schedule right now on your saints app or by going to new saints.com also you can tune into nfl network at 7 p.m central they'll have a three hour schedule breakdown so you don't want to miss that on nfl network for Caroline Gonzalez, John DeShazer, we leave you now with a message for our 2020 opponents. Takes one step back under pressure, and he's taken down Cam Jordan in the backfield. Big hit. Looks to throw, front quarter of the end zone, touchdown, Mike Thomas! Pizza, and we're about to make a special delivery for the healthcare workers in care of New Orleans Saints. We're about to make a special lunch for healthcare workers, courtesy of the New Orleans Saints. Thank you, New Orleans Saints. A special delivery from courtesy of the New Orleans Saints. Thanks, New Orleans Saints and the Saints. Kells Kitchen in Atlanta. We're delivering lunch today for Atlanta Police Department, courtesy of the New Orleans Saints. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you.